Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss and show a project which I have built recently. So first of all, just wanted to give you a brief introduction about the project. So basically the project is based on Bluetooth. Like I would be controlling devices with the help of mobile phone. So the, the devices which will be controlled. So they are all home appliances. So I will show you the working first of all because I am also very much excited because it's a new project you will not find it anywhere in Google or in YouTube as well. So pretty much ex excited. So hope you like it. Just watch the video. It will give you a brief idea about what's going to happen and what's all about. Okay Google. Open Pro. Tube Light. Okay, Google. Open Pro. Lights. Okay, Google. Repeat. Good night. Okay, so as you have seen in this video that I was able to control the home appliances by using the Google Assistant. So on any Android device, if you press and hold the home button, Google Assistant would be triggered. So once we say OK Google, without the use of any kind of switch or button, uh, it gets activated on your mobile device. So it's a AI system. So I have what I have done here is I have linked this AI system with the Arduino. Okay, and after that the Arduino is able to control the electric bulbs, as you can see. So this is an application uh, which I have built so when I say ok Google okay then Google goes into listening mode and then I ask Google to open Pro so Pro is the name of the application which I have built so what this application does is I don't need to press any switch or anything once the application is triggered the Google listening starts automatically it's able to initialize the Google speech recognition service and once I process the command like I say whatever the command is like light fan good night uh, anything whatever it may be so whenever I see these commands the Google listener translates that command and transfers that via Bluetooth to my Arduino and then my Arduino triggers off or on those bulbs so if you are if you guys are thinking that uh, definitely it's a normal project like every time like we can use Bluetooth to control AC bulbs or home appliances as well so let me correct you here so I will show you the next video where you will understand the difference between the previous apps like basically ev nowadays everyone is building uh, ho uh, home automation based projects however this one is quite different because on Bluetooth devices, we always need to press a switch to trigger the Google speech recognition service. But I am not using any button here. Let me show you in the next video. It will make your concerns more clear. So first of all, I have to check whether the device is actually connected to the Bluetooth or not. So the default password is 1234. So that's HC05 Bluetooth module. Now this is the AMR voice application. 
okay so as you can see like this i have successfully downloaded from google like nowadays each and everyone is using this application and this one is the mac address of your device so here you can see the button so i have to press this button every time to uh, tell a, a particular command okay and after that my arduino would be listening to me so every time i have to press this button there which is quite annoying like i'm sleeping somewhere my mobile is being charged and i have to go to my mobile open the application click on the button and then only i will be able to control the devices so that's the only reason i made sure that i have to remove this button so i'm going to show you which app i have built so this was the first app which i have built so here you can see it's not connected right now so this is the mac address again of the bluetooth so you clicked on bluetooth scan for connecting the bluetooth now you need to click on press for triggering the google speech recognition service so this is a similar kind of app which i have built which you have recently saw previously the reason being because for making changes i have to make the same kind of application as well so as you can see it's written as the hi the reason is uh, once the google listener was initialized i said hi so this is the app which i finally made i guess you got to know the difference what's happening is once the app is getting triggered it's triggering the google speech recognition service as well and once it listens to your command it automatically closed closes down there so you don't need to press any button there you don't need to go to your phone and click on the listening button you just need to say okay google okay google open pro so pro is the name of the app and after that you just need to say the command and that's it no clicking of switches you will not find this project anywhere in google or in youtube so I'm going to show you step by step about how I made this project. So this is the block diagram here. So this is the app which I have built. So it's on a mobile phone. So once I speak OK Google, then the Google Assistant triggers here. After that, the Google Assistant opens the app which is Pro and then the app will automatically list start listening to me and after that i will see the command which can be light or good night or something whatever you have coded for and after listening to that command it will automatically close then that command travels to the bluetooth module okay and from that bluetooth module arduino reads that data and then arduino sends the collective data to the relay board and the relay board turns on the bulb now here is the circuit diagram so this is the arduino you know which i have used in the project and this is the bluetooth uh, relay module and this one is the bluetooth module so here you can see the first and the last pin of the bluetooth module are not connected because they are not being used in this project so I have used four pins. So this is the plus five volt, the red one plus five. This is the ground pin. And then we have the transmitter pin and the receiver pin. That's four pins. So just want to let you know, like uh, every time you, uh, this is something which will be common. Okay. So the transmitter pin would be connected to the receiver pin here and now the receiver pin will be connected to the transmitter pin here and make sure whenever you upload sketch on your Arduino these two pins needs to be disconnected don't connect them before coding the Arduino once the sketch is uploaded only then you can connect the rx and tx pins in the bluetooth module now the, here i have so, shown you like i'm using three uh, three relays here because i have uh, connected three load like three bulbs are there so this is the diagram 
I hope you are able to understand it as well because it's very simple like here you can see like internal pin number one then pin number two then pin number three these are for three relays and the black one is for ground and the red one is for plus five volt, which I'm getting from the Arduino itself now here the red wire it's the live wire and the ground ground uh, sorry and the neutral wire is the black one which is connected to the bulb so every bulb has two connections so the first connection would be the neutral one which will be connected to the plug and the second one would be connected to the third pin of the relay you can see one two three the third pin now comes the coding part okay which is actually very important for proper functioning of those devices so first of all we need to define the number nine is two light and pin number eight is bulb so i'm writing the data in serial monitor so pin mode fan output two light output bulb output so analog write two light 255 analog write fan 255 digital write bulb high the reason is pin number eight is a digital pin it's not an analog pin so that's the only reason i have to send digital commands in that pin but apart from that pin number nine and pin number ten are analog pins, so nothing to worry about them so here you can see i have just mentioned each and every step you can clearly read out as well but for before uh, going further there are several subscribers who knows Arduino programming so it's very basic from them but who are not into coding please do check out the comment section here okay as I can see these are the commented sections after each and every line you can see I have given the comment section yeah there are two comments check if there is an available byte to read so after each and every line I have commented the things out there so that if a non-coder is seeing this video will be able to understand what is the meaning of that line so similarly here so if voice if I say tube light then analog right tube light would be on fan would be off and digital bulb high so even that means off so it goes in a similar way so you can add up commands here of your own you just need to see which one you want to turn on and which one you want to turn off. So for me, if the if it uh, if for an example like two like two fifty five, that means it's off. If there would have been a zero, then two light would have been on. So here we go further. So this is the last line, and this is very important or else your coding will not be completed because until and unless it resets the whole function you will no, not get back to the first line now so i created and developed the application using mit app inventor so as you remember this application which we can click on bluetooth scan to connect to the bluetooth device and then click on press okay so that uh, the it triggers the Google voice recognition system but as you know uh, in this app as well I had to press this button every time whenever I would require Google to listen to me Google listening service to listen to me so that it can process my request to Arduino which was not feasible enough so that is the only reason like I just built this app for uh, experimenting because I was not getting any app in the in like Google or I was not getting any kind of tutorial where I would be able to remove this this button okay uh, but I was not getting any option there so at last finally I started creating my own app so that I can develop that app further so this was the final app which I built okay so as you can see it's written as push button so no need to press this button you don't need to press this button at all and the Bluetooth will also connect automatically you don't need to configure anything once the app is initialized by Google 
assistant, it will straight away listen or ask for the command. You will say the command, the app would be closed once again. So here is the MIT App Inventor website. Okay, so there are several people who are not aware that we can easily create application using MIT App Inventor. So this is the website. I would like you guys to go into this website and click on create apps. Then it will ask you to log in with your Google account. So my one is here. Okay, so once you log in for your password, and once you log in, it will ask for your password and then this page will appear. So on this page, you just need to click on projects, then click on start new project. So that's all for today. Okay, hope you guys have liked my project. I was very excited in sharing uh, everything via this video here, but the feedback is very nice. For me. So I, I would like you guys to share your thoughts and feedback so that I can improve this project. And if you guys are interested in making uh, the application as well, so don't worry about that because I will be making a follow-up tutorial on how we can make those applications as well. Okay then, so have a nice day and don't forget uh, to comment below. Okay, and do subscribe to my channel as well. Okay then. Bye-bye, take care and stay tuned because I would be coming up with a follow-up tutorial to create the applications as well using MIT App Inventor.